When you created a video animation with RealCraft AI, the AI create the full video. Each video has scenes, and each scene is a few images or video animation with one script, usually one sentence. If you want to change the scene or script, add more scenes or delete scene, this video will show you how to do all of these things. First, you need to open the video you want to edit. Click on dashboard and find the video you want to edit. Then go to the storyboard. Here you have the option to edit the video. On the left side, you you can see options for editing and changing things in the video. In the middle is the storyboard which shows all the images in the order they appear in the video. On one side you have the image and on the other you have the prompt that the AI generated for you. This prompt is what the AI used to create the image based on the script you provided. You can use the arrows on the sides to change the images. At the top of the images you can see the specific scene the image is part of and the image number. So you know what you are changing. You can also click on the image at the bottom to go to specific image in the storyboard. On the left side you have some buttons. The first option is to change an image. This is different from adding an overlay image, which I show in different video. The image you change is the one the AI created for you when you change it. You also need to ask the AI to change it for you. If you don't like an image in the video, click on the pencil icon to edit the prompt. Then click save to save the changes. After changing the prompt, click on generate to create new images. This process takes time, so it's best to change all the prompts for the whole video first and then generate everything in bulk. To delete an image, click on the trash icon next to the prompt. This won't delete the script for that part of the video. Each scene has one text and the images in the scene change every few seconds. If you have fewer images, they will display more slowly in the same scene. If you want to add an image because the scene feels too slow, click on add image on the side. A pop-up window will appear here with three options for adding a new image. In the first tab, you can write a prompt. If you don't know what to write, you can copy the prompt from another image in the same scene to generate something similar. For now, the new images will be generated at the start of the scene and you can change its position, but they plan to add the ability to change the position in the future. In the next tab, you can upload an image from your computer. If you uploaded an image before, it will appear in your library here. Lastly, you can search for an image by name. You will get images from Pexels and Unsplash, which are free libraries. If you feel that the story is too short and want to add more to it, you can add the new scene yourself. Click on Add Scene and let the AI know where you want to insert the scene in the storyboard. The new scene will be added after the scene you clicked on. You can change the first scene, but you can change the text of the first scene. If you like this scene to have different voiceover than the other themes, you can change it by clicking on the setting icon and choose different AI voice. In the box, you need to write a description for the AI of what you want the text of the scene to be about. Keep it short so it will generate a sentence that makes sense in the video. You can also write the text yourself. Next, you can add images or animation to the scene. Click on the box and add prompt for the images. Add as many images prompts as you wish. Then click on save. After making all the changes, you need to generate it so the scene will be added. If you want to delete a scene, go to one of the images in the scene that you want to delete and click on delete scene. You will see the number of the scene you are about to delete and you need to confirm that you want to delete it. There are two more things you can edit in the storyboard tab. You can edit the voiceover underneath the images. There is another video that shows how to add a custom voiceover and how to edit it and you can change it here. Additionally, you have the option to edit the music. If you want to see how to edit the music and add more tracks of your own, watch the next video.